If you're tired of the high gas fees on Ethereum, then maybe it's time for you to try Polygon. Polygon is a sidechain or layer two solution to Ethereum, which allows you to deploy Ethereum smart contracts, but instead of deploying them to Ethereum, you deploy them to a network like Polygon, which is fast and cheap to use. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the differences so that you as a developer can understand what Polygon is, how it's different from Ethereum, and in what situations you should use Polygon. It was previously known as Matic, uh, when you should use that for your smart contracts and dApps. And then I'm also gonna show you how you quickly can get set up if you want to use Polygon. So first of all, why bother with this at all? Why not just use Ethereum? The answer is that Ethereum for a long time now has been plagued with the problem of high gas fees, full box, and through that, uh, it has become impossible for many users to use dApps like, for example, Uniswap, because the gas fees are so high that it doesn't make sense for people with small portfolios to do any trading on Uniswap at all. If you want to do a swap worth 50 bucks and you pay 20 bucks in fees, of course, that makes no sense. And that's why a lot of um, second layer solutions, side chains, and other blockchains, other EVM compatible blockchains has risen. We've had Binance Smart Chain, uh, for example, become very popular. I have a video titled Binance Smart Chain versus Ethereum on this very channel you can check out. Uh, and that's where Polygon has uh, come from as well. If you want a blockchain solution that is faster and cheaper, then a sidechain is usually the cheaper way to go. You are, of course, uh, having some drawback when you do that. We'll get into that later. But first of all, how does Polygon or Matic fit in in this scaling solutions ecosystem? Well, they, uh, they title themselves Ethereum's Internet of Blockchain. Polygon is a uh, protocol and framework for building and connecting Ethereum compatible blockchain networks. Um, and they have a few different solutions uh, to do this. Uh, let's check out. It started here. Uh, they have an SDK for uh, for deploying and building new Ethereum compatible blockchains. The most popular use case right now that I'm seeing is their Polygon proof of stake chain. And this is a side chain to Ethereum where you can deploy Solidity contracts and people can use them through your dApps using MetaMask, um, just like they would use an Ethereum dApp, but the contract and every, everything is um, executed on Polygon's sidechain. And the sidechain generally is another blockchain that is separate from the main chain, which in this case is Ethereum, but there is some sort of bridge over to the main chain, which means that you can move assets from one chain to the other. Because in order to use a sidechain like Polygon efficiently, you need to be able to move, for example, your ERC20 tokens, your NFTs, over to Polygon and use those tokens in applications in the sidechain. So you want to uh, use maybe Uniswap clones on Polygon. Then you need to be able to convert your assets from the Ethereum blockchain to the Polygon and blockchain. And that is done through what's called a bridge. And that exists in Polygon as well. You lock up an asset on the main chain, it gets automatically unlocked on the sidechain and the opposite can be done as well. You can burn the tokens on the sidechain, they will get unlocked again on the main chain. So, um, that is how side chains work generally. And usually they're also, you know, faster block times, faster transactions, cheaper transactions because there's more block space. So you are have, you do have all of those benefits. You're of course compromising a little bit in terms of security because the network is not, um, as uh, secured as the Ethereum main chain, just like, you know, Bitcoin versus smaller altcoins, you have more resources backing the security of the network in terms of proof of work. Uh, than you have with these side chains. So when should you use a side chain like Polygon if you are an Ethereum developer? Well, it comes down to how your use case, what your use case is basically. Are you dealing with high value transactions and you have quite a few high value transactions? Then there's no point in using a side chain. You, you want that maximum security. You're willing to pay a premium in gas fees to be on the main chain, in the blocks in the main chain. But if you have a use case where you need 
smaller transactions with higher frequency and they are low value transactions meaning that you can't pay 10 20 bucks in gas for each transaction or maybe even 50 bucks now, instead you're doing smaller transactions maybe this is a uniswap type um, application but you do lower um, smaller transactions then you need to be on a side chain like matic polygon or maybe you have a game where you have smaller transactions in terms of in-game items, NFTs, currency, where it doesn't make sense to pay huge gas fees, then you can use a side chain like Polygon. Then it makes sense, okay? And if you want to use a main chain, sorry, a side chain like Polygon when you are developing, uh, you only need a few things. Number one is the same tool set as you use for Ethereum development. Um, you can use Remix, you can use Truffle, you can use Hardhat, you can use Web3.js, um, you can use ethers.js, the same tools, because it is an EVM compatible blockchain. Number two, you need a good uh, solid polygon node. And where do you get a polygon node? Well, you can get it at our place, Morales. And we're going to show you that. So if you go to Morales, uh, you can get, let me show you, show you here. Do, 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 do. You can get a polygon node, a speedy node, as we call them. That will allow you to connect to the Polygon network, basically. So from MetaMask, you need to connect to Polygon network. From uh, Truffle or Harnet, you need to connect to the Polygon network. From Remix, all, from all your dev tools, you need to connect to the Polygon network because it defaults to Ethereum. And therefore, you need a node. So if you sign in uh, to Morales, you create an account, it's free, so why not? You can go into speedy nodes here at the left and here you can select the polygon network endpoints and here you can select the polygon network you can click on endpoints it will bring up your endpoints uh, that you can use for free to um, to deploy smart contracts to build apps on polygon and so on and we have videos on that so you can check them out on this channel we have how to create tokens on polygon how to use metamask with polygon and so on so there are plenty of tutorials for that if you're interested and that's basically it for this video i hope that you learned um, what Polygon is, why it exists, and in which case, in which use cases, uh, it can come in handy. So make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any feedback, any questions for me, maybe ideas for future videos. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, check out Morales.io, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Morales is the number one tool. If you're going to build apps, you want to build cross chain, you want to build it fast, then Morales is the tool for you. Go sign up; it's free. Get access to your nodes get user management, user authentication through MetaMask, cross-chain, all that good stuff. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.